my name is Gary from DC Electrical Mechanical Services and this is filled in relation to the ram pump that I built here for Tom Brennan's farm here in Paulstown. In relation here, uh, the pipe starts and the pipe starts here. And the filter system here on the end of it here going to stop any leaves or anything that goes into it. And the reason why I started it here is to create the fall, the velocity of the water, which follows the pipe down further, which we'll show later in the video. Here now, before we go to the pump, the velocity, you can see the pipe there coming out through the trees there, down and actually increases the fall here, if you look back along there, and it comes down here to this unit here where it connects onto the two inch gun barrel. This is critical here, this is a very important situation here to have this correct. Also the pipe actually follows straight down along and goes into a, a stop valve before the pump there. The water comes down to the two inch pipe, straight down to this fall valve here water flows in here into this check valve here. That one closes, this one opens and with pressure vessel here which I designed myself here and it creates the pressure for me to drive it up the hill up here to the tank. So one valve opens or it closes and the pressure right itself, air is taken in automatically in itself. That was a thing I had to discover myself for how to do it. But um, everything is working fine you can hear the clicking. Maintenance wise for the pump, um, there's no maintenance on it vertically. Uh, I reckon that the paddles might be changing these after about 5 years or thereabouts because they're, they're going 24-7, 365 days a year. So that would be the only maintenance required on it. I'm also looking to develop it here, as you can see here, the, the water will, will eventually rust this one, look the coat in plastic. Eventually, plastic coat, and I'm always improving it at the minute. So it's still in a lot of development stage at the minute as well, but at the moment you can see here it's working fine on this farm. No electricity whatsoever, no outdoor outsourced power at all, no electric whatsoever, just the power of the water is using this altogether and it's environmental friendly. Hi, my name is Tom Brennan and um, I farm in Coraline Pogstown and I keep about 40 in calf heifers, uh, mainly limousine cemental crosses. And I entered Gloss this year, I was in reps up, up to this and I entered Gloss this year. And one of the conditions on the Gloss was I had to fence the cattle out of the river. So I had to find a way of getting water to the cattle, so I looked up a few things, but the only thing I came up that suited my system was um, I looked up on YouTube of a river pump, on water, river pump, something to, without electricity, because down here where the land is, there's no electricity within a, about a mile of the, of the farm. So I asked Derry Cummins that does work with pumps, he's a neighbour, and I asked him to know what he make a pump as regards for the river and try and work out something I've seen on YouTube. So we put this pump together and um, it's pumping grand, I have no trouble with it so far and it's going into 1100 litres of water into the reservoir for the tank and it's pumping into the trucks here and there's another tank down further, a couple of hundred yards down further and it's feeding that as well and I have no problems with it whatsoever.